Hi guys, uh, it's me Peter of GizGuy.com and we are here sa BGC, sa may amphitheater because we will be testing this phone as you can see this is the Huawei Mate 30 Pro 5G Huawei Mate 30 Pro 5G, this is the very first smartphone in the country with the next generation 5G technology and what does that mean? It has higher speeds, better connectivity, and more stable connectivity than the current 4G technology that we have. And this phone, as mentioned, is the first to have it here in the Philippines. What made that possible? Huawei included the Kirin 990 5G chipset. Kirin 990 5G chipset is a bit different to the Kirin 990 5G chip. It is a chip based on the 7 nanometer plus EUB process and that type of chipset is paired with the Balong 5000 5G modem. So it has support for standalone and non-standalone 5G and sub 6 GHz as well. So this is one of the most complete 5G solution on the phone today. And aside from that, it also has the multi-mode modem. Multi-mode modem meaning it works with 2G, 3G, 4G, and 5G. So even if you don't have 5G yet, you can still enjoy the phone using 4G. And that's a good sign. So what are we going to do today is of course test it. And as you can see here, I turned on the 5G button here. There's a 5G logo here. That means that we have 5G. I'm using Glow. So we will have to turn it on and off again. We will try if I can get 5G signal here. And as you can see here, there is 5G signal in this area. And since we're in the early stages, I do not expect it to be that great yet. But we will see. We will try the 5G speed test right now. So here, we're getting around 300 Mbps. And that is really, really, really fast. At least, it is at least uh, six times faster than the usual 4G solution that we get. It is still not as fast as the one Gbps that most are boasting when it comes to 5G speeds. But remember, we're in the early stages of 5G. And at least this is way faster than the current 4G solution that we have. We have here the Mate 30 Pro as well. So we will be testing its connectivity too. So to compare, of course, so we will be doing the speed test again, side by side, 4G and 5G. So, look, the difference is in speed is really huge. I get around 250 Mbps on the Mate 30 Pro 5G and I only get around 18 Mbps on the Mate 30 Pro 4G. And even on the upload speed, the difference is big. I only get around 20... I get around 20 Mbps on the Mate 30 Pro 5G and I get around 7 Mbps on the Mate 30 Pro 4G. That's a huge difference. What can you do with 5G? With 5G, you can browse the internet so much faster compared to 4G. So let's take a look at YouTube first. Let's try to load some crash landing on you. Landing on YouTube. Clips. So videos. Let's try it here. So here. So smooth. No, it's not lagging. And let's see if the quality, I, let's switch the quality to 1080p and there's still no delay at all. It, it is still super smooth. And aside from getting a really fast phone, having this type of advantage right now is a huge plus. And as I mentioned, we're still in the early stages of 5G but this is a good phone. To prepare ourselves for the upcoming launch of 5G. It is inevitable. Eventually, I believe in around Q2 2020, our local telcos will launch their 5G mobile services. 
to everyone and 5G is easier to implement than 4G because all you need is a 4G tower and then you attach the 5G modem on the 4G tower and there are some towers here in the country that already has the attached 5G modem and all those telco companies need to do is just turn it on and then we will get to enjoy 5G and even on the SIM card side all you need to do is use 4G SIM cards and you will experience 5G not all 4G SIMs have 5G but most of the new 4G SIMs support 5G and you can just ask your network provider if your SIM card is supported or not anyway that's it this is our quick look on the Huawei Mate 30 Pro 5G and our quick speed test using the Mate 30 Pro 5G here in BGC other locations expect it to have 5G soon as well so guys that's it bye bye and thank you for watching